Today in this video I'm going to show you how to solve a problem has been detected and Windows shut down to prevent damage to your computer. This is the machine that has blue screen problem repeatedly showing this message a problem has been detected and Windows shut down to prevent damage to your computer. And how to fix this problem, keep watching the video till the end to fix the problem. Let me restart the computer in front of you and show that when I restarted the computer. And see the computer is showing blue screen problem after starting Windows and same. Problem is showing. First, to fix the problem, turn off the computer, then open the CPU cabinet lid. After opening I first open the RAM and wipe the RAM well with a rubber and put it back. And turn on the computer if the same problem then open the hard disk SATA cable and hard disk power cable and plug it again and see if the same problem is showing or if it is. Then reinstall the system. Next solution turn on the computer by pressing the power button and as soon as the system starts up, the Windows error recovery option will appear. And you launch startup repair recommended by pressing enter button go to Windows recovery option and wait until startup repair is done. After the startup repair is complete click the finish button and after clicking the finish button the computer will restart and see if the problem is fixed or if not then we will move to the next solution. For the next solution we will restart the computer then press F2 button or Dell button to go to BIOS settings we will go to BIOS settings because sometimes the problem shows that some settings have been changed from BIOS. BIOS settings we will load BIOS defaults first because changing some settings in BIOS setting will fix the problem if it loads defaults. To load defaults first go to BIOS settings exit option, then go to load BIOS defaults option and press enter button and yes or no will show you press yes means Y on keyboard, then press F10 on the keyboard to save the BIOS settings, the computer will restart as soon as the BIOS is saved and when the system starts, see if your problem is fixed or if the same problem shows then go to the next solution. For next solution we will go to BIOS settings again by pressing F2 button and L button to go to BIOS settings. After BIOS settings go to configuration option. Then go to SATA drives option and press enter button. Then after going to the SATA drives option, the chips at SATA option should always be enabled. Then go to SATA mode option and press enter button and see two SATA mode options will show one IDE mode and another AHCI mode. I had done AHCI mode in my previous one, now I will try IDE mode and if you had done IDE mode before, try AHCI mode now. Then after selecting SATA mode, press F10 button to save BIOS settings. Restart the computer as soon as the BIOS settings are saved and see if the computer problem is fixed and the system starts up without any problems, hopefully the problem won't show at all. If the computer is still the same problem, be sure to visit a computer expert or a nearby computer repair shop. I hope this video helped you. Please share it with your friends also. If you have any doubts related to this, let us know in the comment box below. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.